friends. It's that time of year again. That's right. Halloween. Now this Halloween, I'm going to uh, transform myself into Santa Claus because uh, everyone loves Santa Claus. Uh, first up, uh, I'm going to make the fat suit because fat suits are fun. Um, and uh, pretty simple. Um, just need two pillows and a t-shirt, really. Uh, the first pillow, preferably the bigger one. This one I'm using a polyester pillow. You shove it up your shirt and get it in the belly area. It's much better for those horizontally. And then you want to smooth it out, right? And figure out about where your belly's going to sit, right? So once you've got that, I have some safety pins here. And the safety pins are really essential. And now for the butt pillow. The butt pillow is going to go right up underneath uh, my t-shirt. And I'm going to pin it to my t-shirt because I don't want it to be in my pants fully. Because I tried it in my pants and it just pulls down your pants. So you want to pin the, the butt pillow to your t-shirt. It's pretty important. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your pants. Once you've got your butt pillow in, you just tuck it into your pants and uh, kind of smooth it out, make it look like as uh, much like a butt as you can. Get it all the way down in there, work it, you know, don't be afraid to shake it around a little bit, get it into place. Now, once you get the robe on, it really completes it. Because obviously this isn't the perfect fat suit, but hey, for not spending basically anything on a fat suit, it's pretty good. So I had the pillows, and there we go. Pretty close to Santa Claus, I just have to add the white striping. To Santify my bathrobe, I went ahead to the fabric store and I bought this um, pretty nice and soft, like fleecy white stuff. Um, I bought a little bit more than a yard of it. So I've gone out and marked uh, the width of my bottom fringe, which I'm making pretty wide, because I think I might fold up my bathrobe. So I'm making it about a foot wide or something like that. I don't really know. Just eyeballing it. That's how I do it. But I marked it out straight with a Sharpie on the side that's going to go be hidden, because one side of this fabric is uh, plusher than the other. I'm going to put the plush side out, because it's Santa Claus. And Santa Claus is plush. Um... I'm just going to cut this as neatly as I can. So I've taken that white strip of fabric that I've cut off my um, big chunk, and I'm going to stitch it now to the bottom. And I wanted to lay it with fuzzy side out, but I'm actually going to stitch it upside down to hide the stitches. So to figure out where to do that, I don't really have any fancy tools, so I'm just going to mark it out. And laid it out, you see I got my white stripe nice and centered on my back row. And uh, it's right on that line I drew. And um, now I'm just going to stitch it into place uh, all the way along. I've stitched uh, this white thing along the line I drew. Now if I fold it down, it is a complete fringe. And because I stitched it up, all the stitches are hidden underneath the fold. And that's exactly what I want. And I made it. Uh, so this bottom edge uh, will hang underneath the bottom hem of the robe and that way we can stitch this along this edge now. I know it's a fair amount of sewing but uh, I'm actually using really big loops and it goes, it goes, it goes pretty quick. Alright, so I finished the bottom hem and uh, now I'm going to um, cut strips to go along the uh, breast of the jacket because it's going to look good. Um, I figured out I want them to be about six inches wide. Now I'm going to put the white border on, um, which is great. Uh, and I've drawn a line along here so I know exactly where I want this um, fringe to end at. So I'm just going to lay it out like this and then just stitch right along this edge just like I did on that. So when I flip it over, the stitches are hidden. I uh, stitched on the two sides, just uh, on that side, so they're still loose. Um, I'm going to fold them over, but, uh, you know, it's looking alright. But I have to um, add another shoulder piece, so I've got to cut that to fit up here, 
and stitch them all on before I turn them inside out. So I've attached this uh, new piece, because I need to make it longer, onto the top of the other one. And I'm just going to keep on stitching it along the black line, along the edge of the robe where I've marked uh, how far the collar needs to be. So I've uh, stitched on uh, this white border on one side all the way around. And now I have to um, stitch it on the inside so it stays put. And I'm just going to fold it over the edge of the bathrobe and then do a circle stitch right along here to uh, keep it in place. I finished stitching my collar and uh, I stitched it all the way up uh, and around and kind of left this frill up top because I realized it looks kind of cool. Um, so now that I got the collar all I got to do is put sleeves on this baby and uh, I'll be golden. So I cut out a strip that uh, will go around and become my sleeve. And I just have to measure it out um, so it's the right length to go all the way around this um, with a little bit extra. So, about yay long. Now this cloth I'm going to fold inside out and then stitch along one edge uh, to create an invisible fold. Well, somewhat invisible. Well, I finished sewing the sleeve and uh, now I'm just going to We'll leave it inside out and slip it on. And I marked out how far it needs to go on here. And I'm just going to slip it on here inside out. I just finished stitching the uh, white onto my sleeve backwards. And now I just turn it inside out like this. And, and now all the stitches are hidden. And then I'm just going to actually turn the whole sleeve inside out now. Because this white... I'm just going to fold down around this edge, like so, and stitch it in place. Um, and that is going to uh, finish the sleeve so all the stitches are hidden. Well, I finished my uh, bathrobe Santa, and uh, now I just have to add cuffs to my sweatpants. So uh, I, I cut out two sleeves, uh, two cuffs for my sweatpants already. So I marked out on this cuff, uh, just like I marked out on my bathrobe, um, a line to f show how high I need to put the cuffs that I'm adding on the bottom. And uh, now I'm just going to sew this cuff inside out and along this line so that when I f pull it down and fold it down, uh, it goes right side out. Well. I finished stitching the cuff on both sides and now I'm actually going to pull this down and um, then just like what I did with the top I'm going to turn the whole pant leg inside out Now I'm just going to fold this up and stitch this along here just like I did on the cuffs on the sleeves. Happy Halloween and Merry Christmas! Uh, I am now Diabetic Santa Claus, and I think I'm uh, ready to go out. What do you think of my costume? Ho, ho, ho.